Martin, uh, during the game last night, am I right in thinking that you were saying it was quite Im- it, it was quite refreshing, if you like, that there was no technology? It was. It, it was refreshing that it was just down to the officials and down to us in the commentary box to 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 decide really whether we thought it was onside, offside, mm. was it handball, was it a penalty? It wasn't. Um, and I must say, after there was a obviously there was a penalty in the game that when you watched it live, it was Sibek, the uh, central defender. It was on. Tammy Abraham. And it, for all the world in the commentary box, it looked like a fantastic tackle. And then, if, but lo and behold, we see the replay and he makes contact with the player before he gets to the ball. And it was almost one of those, well, okay, we'll accept that, which we wouldn't have done, would we? You know, 10 years ago, we'd have been up, up in arms, really bad official. But, but we shouldn't accept that, that though, Martin, should we? Well, I've, no, I think the next step is VAR, but it was just refreshing occasionally to do a game where VAR isn't crawling all over it. But, you know, you just said there at the start, there was an article written today. I mean, when the competition, I mean, when they brought VAR in, you know, we were, a lot of people were saying a few years ago that you, you've got to have that sort of natural symmetry across the board, everybody, that fairness, that VAR should only really come in until the semi-final stages, when the, all the, when the games are played at Wembley, and then you can have all your touchline and your, your goal line technology, everything else is included, semi-final, to make mm. it a fair competition. Mm. Not, you know, to do it in the Premier League, and then not in the Champions League, for me, is a little bit unfair. Um, and it's not really this, we're not perhaps saying, playing under the same rules throughout the whole competition. So yeah. the fact that Ismail didn't know that surprises me. Um, but obviously we're working and commentating in the Premier League for most of the time. He's not, he's operating in the Championship. Um, but the, the FA aren't going to change it now. You know, they've been doing this now for the last two or three years. This is the way the competition has been set up. I think the problem with VAR is all the teething problems we've got, isn't it? Oh, it's been too and, long for and, teething problems, Martin. Yeah, but, how, but Bob, how, it's how we how we use VAR is what really needs to be looked at. You know, it was interesting, I was with Guy Moby last night, he was talking about, you know, supposing there's a corner that's given against a, a team when actually it's a goal kick, and everyone can see that on, you know, on the cameras, but VAR let the corner be taken, and then it's scored from there. Well, VAR should be, as Big Brother, should be intervening to stop that happening. So you wonder sort of the, the power that VAR has. And, mm, mm. you know, we said about VAR coming to the right conclusion. It doesn't often do that. We saw Bednarak get sent off at Manchester United. Yeah. The, the, the match day referee went to the, like Dean, went to the, the screen and still went against the advice of VAR. So when well, maybe VAR should be saying, no, absolutely. But, you know, it's, it's, it's very difficult. These are all teething problems and we're going to get it. For, for another 18 months or so until we get this absolutely right. And there'll always be one decision that we don't all agree agree with. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's really the sort of parameters of VAR and what it's there for that we all need to understand a bit better. 